top of the morning, friends. I hope everybody had a fabulous weekend. I just want to thank everybody for the outreach um, that you gave me during the loss of Louie over the last few days. It's amazing. I love this page even more for that reason specifically. Um, I so desperately wanted to create a Facebook page where people could just go and talk about real life issues and problems and we could all just discuss them and I want people to comment and post and do all of this so you know people could come and go oh thank god I'm not alone oh I'm so glad that that's also a struggle for her and that gives people some sort of like release or, or relief about the the situation at hand and that's what you provided for me with the loss of Lucy um, it is so sad to lose a loved one um, pet or human um, they are a part of our family and although Louie's time here was really short um, it was it was um, all good things so thank you thank you for allowing me I did I sat in my bed or if I was feeling sad and I got to scroll through and read your comments um, and people reaching out um, and ex and sharing their stories too you know and how hard it was for them to um, overcome these challenges so then you're like okay I'm not crazy it's okay for me to feel the way that I'm feeling so you gave me that and I want to personally thank you uh, for doing that for me. So, moving forward, I hope everybody had a great weekend. I went bowling, so that's awesome. I'm not good at it. Nope, not good at it. But it was a really good time. I had a lot of fun. Um, so this week, you know, I'm standing in my closet the other day, and I'm trying to get dressed. And how many of you... <laughs> I know I'm not the only one. You're standing in your closet and you're trying to put on your clothes and everything you put on, you hate. Everything. It's like it, you know, it accentuates all the wrong areas that they're not supposed to. Or you try to go shopping for new clothes and um, you cannot find anything. Anything. And all you have to do, and all you're trying to, literally all you're trying to do is find like another black shirt to wear to an event. Because it's, that's all I ever buy is another black shirt. It's just slightly different than the last black shirt I bought because that just, you know, hides everything and just fixes it, right? So, you know, then I started thinking about this, and I do often. I think about it often, but it's, you know, it's hard work, so I don't actually want to put it in play. But how many of you are just trying to take the time, you take so much time and effort to try to mask the problem instead of fixing the problem? Like, there's a lot of things going on, you know, um, that I'm not so thrilled about, but instead of, instead of trying to just spend the time to fix that, I prefer to just try to find the best outfit to cover it all up and make yourself feel like a little bit better for like, you know, that night or whatever, right? Instead of just fixing the problem, like all of this time that I've spent going to the mall and feeling depressed and sad when I can't find the right clothes that fit me, you know, instead of doing that and wasting so much time and effort, why am I not just waking up every day and making a point to fix the problem so that it won't be a problem anymore? So then when I can go, go to the mall and go shopping, I can just like a shirt and put it on and wear it. Wouldn't that be something? So then I started thinking too, like how many of us do that in life in general? Just in all aspects of life. Me, I do, in so many different ways, right? Or, you know, I can relate to things, situations I've been a part of where I keep preaching to friends or other family or whatever and you just say, I don't understand why you don't fix the problem. You keep complaining about this and all you're trying to do is make this work um, because <clears throat> but yet you're you're literally struggling to have to do that because you think the idea of fixing the problem at hand is going to be way harder than that but you haven't even tried you know or we try for like a day you know like <laughs> I'm trying to eat, like eat better for instance is something and by the middle of the afternoon when you're starving and you're popping like almonds in your mouth they have no salt on them by the way no salt and you're just popping those in your mouth and you're like oh my god I'm like a whole Thanksgiving meal right now. Help me. Help me, Jesus. Help me. Right? So I get it. I get it. I know it's so hard when you're starting new challenges and you're starting different things. Um, 
like that in life, but I, I do. I feel like I want to encourage myself and I want to encourage everybody else to just let's let's set aside all of the time and the effort that we do to mask the problem and let's just put the problem right out on the table and figure out how we can fix that um, and, and move forward from there. So I encourage you to do that today or this week, however long it takes you, you know. Um, I encourage you to do that because I'm going to try. I'm going to try real hard, okay? No promises. I don't have the answers. I just got all the problems, okay? <laughs> so I want everybody to have a fabulous week. And then I encourage you to go out um, and stop masking any of the problems or the issues or the concerns. Uh, lay it all on the table for exactly what it is. And let's together, um, let's no longer mask those problems and move forward and fix the issues, okay? So I hope you all have a fabulous rest of your day, and I'll talk to you all so soon.